in this episode, I tell you about my plan, and I just hope that it works. So hi, welcome back to the channel. So, interestingly enough, I've sort of come up with a plan and I kind of decided on the last video what I was going to do in the back of my head but then I thought it'd be a little bit nuts. But then I thought about it more and more and more and I've decided that I don't want the next video to be a guy going on holiday, I want it to be a proper adventure and a proper adventure is sort of pushing yourself to the extremes. Now I also didn't want it to become something that most people would sit there and go that's really cool but it's something I'd never do because that's kind of a thing, isn't it? That you watch a lot of these and you just go, well, I like it and it's really good, but I'd never do that. So I want to make this something that's achievable to do, but also exciting. So I've kind of come up with this plan um, and I'll go through you know, the route via a map in a few seconds. Um, but just to sum up the actual plan itself, I've already been told from somebody out that way that this is absolutely nuts because there's a potential for snow, rain, ice. They've literally said at this time of year it could be any of them. And one of my plans was to ride one of the highest sort of mountain passes you can ride in the United Kingdom. And they've already said to me like, you are absolutely off your trolley to take a bike up there at this time of year. So that's kind of interesting because I will not turn and tell you right now I am the most expert rider in the world and I have all the answers because I ride my bike because I just enjoy riding and I've been riding since I was a little kid and yes I've done some like motocross and things but it kind of was many years ago and these days I generally enjoy tarmac and decent roads but I've kind of prepared myself for everything that I can so what I'm going to crack on next with is some of the purchases that I've bought and I've literally had to work non-stop to be able to afford this and basically I've sold my peanuts to be able to afford to pay for this trip and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm excited, just arrived today at the new tyres for the trip. So I've gone for tyres at 80% road, 20% off road. So that means if I hit snow or anything like that, I've got a chance of getting through. So they are the new bad boy tyres that are gonna go on the bike for the start of this trip. So I need to get that down to the garage and get that sorted. But yes, the tyres are here. Okay, so my next solid purchase is this. So this is a heated vest, I don't know if you can quite see, but inside here there's heated pads also in the back. So when I hit these minus temperatures, I'm, at least I'm going to have some kind of heat. Now it hardwires into the bike, so I've got constant power. And the reason I went for this and not the battery type was because the battery type apparently lasts for a maximum of four hours on high, high heat. Now I could be travelling all day, so four hours is just not enough. So this will hardwire in and then just down here there is a little connector that you can connect to it. You pull it out, you plug it in and then there's also a little control lead I've got in my other pocket. So that's going to keep me hopefully nice and snug, keep the core warm, hopefully the rest will because I know I'm going to be cold but I'm just hoping that this is going to do a good enough of a job. Thermal layers underneath I already have probably two lots of them two pairs of socks, one thermal, one normal for the boots, and fingers crossed, I'll keep at least a little bit warm. Arctic gloves I've got, and I've got heated grips. So I'm hoping this is gonna be all right, but yeah, purchase number two, done. So I've bought a new helmet, that's another thing for the trip, and the reason why I've bought it is, is because it's a flip front helmet, but it also locks into place. That means I can legally ride along with the front up, chatting to you guys because if you've seen any of the other videos it's quite cool to sort of get some face-to-face -face stuff while I'm riding along so that's a new lid just for this trip okay so there's also a little bit of news I want to add to it and um, so I, I massively surprised to me um, and I've had the patron page where people can give money etc and I don't expect it um, and I understand that but I randomly have got a patron who have obviously clicked on the link at the bottom that you'll see in the description and they've decided to sort of give me a little bit of sponsorship um, and that's where that's their hard-earned money that they're going to pledge every single month to pay and i know they can cancel at any time but somebody's basically giving me five dollars of their hard-earned money every single month and to be honest that means massive massive things to me and it's a massive thumbs up and um, i've said to them about a massive shout out and all they've turned around and just say 
K Wheels. I don't know what that means to people, but K Wheels, thank you so much for uh, your monthly sort of sponsorship. It's huge and uh, it does mean a lot. Um, and it will buy me definitely 100% my first zillion pound pint in one silly pub that I'm going to end up stopping at during the trip. And I'm going to drink that for you and I appreciate it. And from now on, that little bit of money is going to get invested into this. So, yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so this is the plan. Um, and I've got a roadmap coming as well that I'm going to be able to draw each day as we come. But this is currently the plan. So I live sort of this area here that's kind of like the uh, sort of East Midlands kind of centre as you can see of the UK. I'm going to aim to travel up during what potentially at the moment is becoming chucking it down rain, temperatures are dropping to zero degrees. Um, but I'm going to head north so it's going to get colder. So I'm going to head up using all these kind of crazy roads kind of up here. And my plan is to stop kind of peak district side of things. Um, and spend, sort of not Peak District, it's going to be the Lake District. So we're going to spend the Lake District side of things. We're going to spend a night there. Now I'm planning on having a decent hotel somewhere around there, hopefully towards the top of the uh, Lake District, maybe the middle, but somewhere nice. So we're going to have the Lake District. So that's going to be our first stop. That's going to be our first night stay. That's roughly between four to five hours of travel. Um, so in those kind of cold temperatures, rain, motorways, all the horrible roads, that's what we're going to do and then from there we're going to head up I again I have no idea which roads I'm going to take what I'm going to do now right up here so we're going to be around this area here now the plan is we're going to stay in a cabin in some sort of woody area by Loch Ness for four nights what will give us three days and on that point we're going to venture out and we're going to explore this area here that's got one of, if not the highest road in the whole of the United Kingdom and Scotland, obviously, because it's all the same place. We're going to spend a massive trip doing a highest mounting pass you can do. That, as I've already said, is going to be ropey from what I'm being told this time of year. That's my plan. And then from obviously that area, that area there, we're going to travel up and we're going to go to the sort of furthest, northest point that we possibly can. And we're going to see what's there. Now, I've seen a lot of other people's videos and there's photos and things, but let's do this for real. Let's actually see what's worth visiting, the furthest north that we can go. And then we're going to head out into another area as well on the last day, or whichever order I decide to do this in. And we're going to explore, again, potentially the highest mountain in the whole of Scotland. But we're going to potentially look at the roads and what's to offer on this sort of side as well. Now there's Fort William and stuff like this, there's a lot to offer there as well. So once we've done that, once we leave there, on, and this is coming back to sort of the last couple of days, we're going to then travel back and we're going to head kind of in this area and then this area here, we're going to sort of stay potentially in the Yorkshire Dales where they love their cups of tea and we're going to try and find somewhere quite cool to stay around that area. And then obviously from now I can then travel back home. And that's kind of plan. So we're going to do like a whole week kind of travel. Um, so it should be interesting. So that's the current plan. I've already started planning it. I've already started everything off. I'm not going to change now. Any person with any sense would travel south and try and chase the sun. But hey, this is something I think is going to be achievable. And I think it's going to be an adventure. So that's the plan. Okay, so that's the trip, that's the plan, um, and I'm just generally at the point where it's like, I hope it works, um, and you know, I've got enough bits of kit, so there's some tyres I'm getting fitted in a few days time, the bike's going to have a fresh MOT on it, I'll give it a check over, um, and I will go through all the stuff that I'm going to take with me, you know, on the next video on day one of the trip. Um, I've got the helmet for that simple reason, is that I can click it up and I can talk to you guys directly, and I think that's you know, a nice personal touch. Fingers crossed it's a good helmet and it all works. I have no idea at the moment. I've got some new stuff coming from my comms, the internal stuff, so I can wire all that in. Fingers crossed that's going to work. The heated jacket, I'm hoping that, I mean, we're talking about traveling to Scotland at sort of November time and it's gonna be freezing cold. So that's gonna be a fantastic test to see if that heated vest actually does a really good job because keep the core warm. There's a chance that I might not freeze to death. <laughs> Um, and then on the other side of things as well is that I've got literally all those things that I've put in place to make sure that this hopefully works. I'm not going to promise that the trip's going to go 100%. I'm not 100% going to promise it's going to happen as I'm saying it's going to happen. 
but it's going to be an adventure and I'm going to push myself to probably some of the biggest limits I've ever pushed myself to because I love to ride absolutely and I believe riding's all year round but I will not do things like riding snow I will not put myself at risk because I think being sensible is safe and on this trip I've kind of got a feeling that a lot of this is going to go out of the window so it's going to be interesting and fingers crossed you guys are going to really love watching it and enjoying it um, but the most important thing is it's, this is going to be more like a documentary more than a holiday so I want to kind of give the real effects of how I feel what's going on we'll have some laughs on the way and we'll have probably, you may even have some tears on the way, um, but this is gonna be an adventure, and hopefully an adventure that people can follow and copy, and I'd love to see that happen. Anyway, I look forward to starting this adventure together. The next video is gonna to be day one. Let's enjoy this. Take care, goodbye.